All right, before we start, I'm not gonna wear my t-shirt today. It is way too cold. And just like I'm struggling with the cold, Premiere Pro has its struggles too. Sometimes it feels like it's leaving you behind. You're wasting hours and hours trying to find a workaround or you're looking for tips, features to make your edit experience better. It's a long journey. So what if you would get the right guidance? Well, then your edit skills will improve so much faster. I've been through the entire journey and I can tell you the tips that I'm about to share helped me improve tremendously as a video editor. These tricks need to live inside your fingers. You need to train your muscle memory and only then these tricks will be effective. Now it's like driving a car or a bike. It lives inside of you. Now I want you to grab some pen and paper and write down every single tip from this video because if you don't, this will be just like watching someone cook, but that doesn't make you a top chef. All right, let's get started. You're wasting so much time adjusting the volume of every clip separately, so stop doing that. Head over to the keyframe icon and select track keyframes, then choose volume. With this line, you can now adjust the entire track volume with just one control. This saves me hours when I'm working on a big project. Now you just dragged your clip into Premiere and you notice it's a little bit too quiet. So you right click it, choose audio gain and increase the volume. Now let me tell you why this is a huge mistake. Your audio isn't the same over the entire track, which means you're not only increasing the lower parts, but also the loudest parts. This will result in your audio clipping. That sounds terrible. Instead, select normalize max peak too. Set this parameter to minus three for instance. And now the loudest peaks will hit minus three decibels. If you're using multiple clips and you want them all to be normalized to the same value, then choose normalize all peaks too. Now all the clips have the same amount of gain applied to them. Now, if you want to know the loudest part of the audio, just right click on the sound meter and select static peaks. Play the video all the way through and now the yellow line will stay at the highest peak of your audio clip. There you go, the more you know. Now it's so annoying when you're looking for that one clip but you just can't find it because you are not organized and the browser is just full of unused files. Luckily there's one simple trick to fix that. Open up the edit menu and on top select remove unused. This will delete all the clips that you weren't using. A little bonus tip, you can also select the clips that you don't need and then just click hide. Poof, they're gone. And to bring them back, right click and select view hidden. Now last week I was sound designing a short video and Premiere wouldn't let me synchronize the gunshot with the video. This is so annoying, but I know a fix for that. Open up the menu next to your sequence and enable show audio time units. This will let you nudge the audio clip by audio unit instead of frames to sync the sound effect with the video. Now keep in mind, this doesn't work with video only with audio. But then Jordi, where do I find these awesome sound effects? Well, I downloaded them from audio, the sponsor of today's video. Just type in what you need and boom, now you have so many sound effects that you can choose from. You also have an entire music library you can filter by mood, genre, instrument, and so much more. They made it super easy to find the exact thing that you need. Browse through the playlists or find a mood or genre and voila, it's that easy. Now Audio Pro delivers freedom to create. You don't have to worry about licensing or copyright issues. And here comes the cherry to the cake. All the tracks, sound effects, and VFX you download during your subscription period will stay yours to use forever. Isn't that awesome? Now every creator that subscribes to the Audio Pro plan using the coupon code Cyber70 will get the all-inclusive music and sound effects subscription Audio Pro for 70% off. And that is just $59, which is less than $5 a month and all of that for an entire year. But that's not all. Audio's creative team have spent months working with top filmmakers, colorists, and editors to create more than 600 incredible visual assets as a special giveaway during the Cyber Week promotion. Assets include flares, LUTs, natural light leaks, organic film grains, textures, and so much more. All recorded in camera up to 6K resolution. Current and new subscribers to Audio Pro will get these exclusive assets during Cyber Week completely for free. So join 80,000 filmmakers who've already discovered audio by clicking the link in the description down below and don't forget to use that coupon code. And now let's go back to Premiere Pro. The next trick is actually brand new and I'm so glad they added this feature. Here you can see some text and I created a shape around it with a rectangle tool. Now in the appearance tab, head over to the stroke. You can adjust the width right here, but you probably already know that. But in the latest Premiere update, you can choose the type of stroke from the drop down menu now on the right. Choose between inner, outer, and center. If you click the plus icon, you can add more strokes to the shape. So yeah, it's a small thing, but knowing it's there can make your editing go 
faster because you don't have to fumble around in After Effects to do that. Now the next trick is super powerful. Click on the wrench icon. A window will then pop open with more stroke settings. You can adjust the line joint and the line cap. If you want the corners to be round, then just set the line joint to round and it's that simple. The next one is an absolute lifesaver. If you open up the settings menu and enable snap in program monitor, you will be able to snap anything in the program monitor. Videos, shapes, text, it doesn't matter. You can put them exactly where you want them to be. And designing titles in Premiere Pro is easier and faster now. Here we have some text with a white border. You want both of them to be centered. Now to do that, select them and from the align menu, select align to video frame. Now center them horizontally and vertically. Now both of them are perfectly in the middle, but what if we have another text layer that also needs to be centered? Well then select all of the clips and from the align menu, select align to video frame as group. Now Premiere will see this as one layer and put them right in the center of your screen. Sometimes you want to export our clips individually because you want them as separate files. Now Premiere doesn't really have a functionality for that just yet, so I found a little workaround. You know, a little hack we could say. Select the clips in your timeline and just drag them into your project window. Select them again in the project window, right click and then choose export media. Click send to media encoder and now it will be exported in the background. Now imagine you're looking for a clip in the project window and you double click on a folder. Now another window will pop up, which is the folder that you've just opened. And before you know it, you have like 20 tabs open of different folders and you have to close them all manually and it just gets like a big mess. So head over to the edit menu and select preferences, then choose general. In the bin section, open up the double click menu and select open in place. If you now double click on the folder, it will just open up in the same window. And you can click this icon to go back to the previous folder. Now definitely check out these settings more because you can also hold down your control key and then double click to make a variation of how you open up your folders. Because sometimes you do want to have them open as a new window or within a second tab. Like all the options are there in the settings menu. Now these secrets will definitely make you a better editor, no doubt, but they are absolutely useless if you don't optimize Premiere Pro for faster editing. So check out the video here on the left to learn more. So we'll see you in that one. And as always, stay creative.